Okay. So, <laughs> yesterday, yesterday I gave you a point and a slope, and I asked you to put it in slope-intercept form, right? Well, today what I'm going to show you is you. I've given you two ways now. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to write everything in slope-intercept form. Okay, so what is slope-intercept form? Y equals mx plus b. So what they're going, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you an equation, and it's going to look like it was in point-slope form because it is in point-slope form, and we're going to rewrite it in slope-intercept form. So here's this point, here is this equation, okay? So it is in point slope form, which we just got done doing. And now what we're going to do is we are going to write it in slope intercept form. So what we want is we want mx plus b on the same side. So the first thing we need to do is we need to distribute the seven. Okay? So 7 times x was 7x, 7 times negative 3 was minus 21. Okay, so we're, all, we're close, right? It's still y equals mx plus b. So when you see this and you're like, well, how do I know? Remember, y needs to be by itself. Well, y still has a negative 5 attached to it. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. And then we're left with y equals 7x and negative 21 plus 5 is 16. negative 16 and now we are in slope intercept form. Now I could ask you a question. I could ask you what my slope is and I could ask you what my y-intercept is. So I always like to do this when it starts out in this problem because I always like to see if you guys can go backwards. So, what is my slope in this problem? Seven. 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 What is my y-intercept? And how do we write it? When we go to write our y-intercept? Zero comma 16. It's going to be negative 16 and we're done. That's your answer. Now, this doesn't, it doesn't, this isn't always going to happen, but I always like to ask you those questions just to see if you can do it. So, what we're going to do next is slope, inter this is point slope, and I want you to write it in slope intercept form. Okay, let's do another example because that's what we do in Miss Flurry's class. We do examples, and lots of them. And you guys are like, yes, thank you. We hate it. Okay. Okay, so we have y plus 6 equals 1 half x plus 8. So this is point slope form. We're going to write it in slope-intercept form. To do that, the first thing we need to do is distribute the 1 half times the x and the 1 half times the 8. So y plus 6 stays the same. You guys, 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half times 8 is 4. Because basically you're doing 1 times 8, which is 8. So you're doing 1 times 8, which is 8, and then dividing by 2. Now, we can't leave the 6 on the side of the y, so we're going to subtract. subtract 6. Since it's positive, we're going to subtract it from both sides. And y equals 1 half x minus 2. I always like to ask you, what is your slope? One over two. So, 
Yep, 1 over 2, 1 half is my slope, and what is my y-intercept? 0, negative 2. 0, negative 2. You guys, that means that's where we're going to start if we, did a, if we were to graph our line. Okay, hold on one second. One more. One more. Okay. Okay. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't like to multiply fractions. You're like, I don't want to do it. I hate them. I understand. So we're going to do the same thing that we usually do. We're going to distribute the four-thirds. So when I'm asking you to write it in slope-intercept form, bless you, you need to distribute. Okay, so the y minus 3 stays the same for right now. Four-thirds times x is four-thirds x. And you just put that x in the middle. Now when you go to multiply fractions, let me show you, let me show you something that you can do, okay? 4 times 9 is 36, and then just put it over the 3. And now there's two things that you can do. Well, there's two things that are going to happen. Either you're going to divide evenly, 36 divided by 3 goes in evenly, or you're going to reduce the fraction, okay? Well, y minus 3 equals 4 thirds x. 36 divided by 3 is is 12. Okay. Remember, you guys, the reason that this is negative is because I did a positive times a negative. That's how I got the negative. And now I have one more step to do, and what's that step? Add 3 to both sides. Negative 12 plus 3 is? Negative nine. So today what we've done is we've learned how to, um, given a point and a slope, writing it in point slope form. It's in slope inter, um, point slope form, you writing it in slope intercept form. And that's what our lesson is today. So I'm going to tell you what your homework is slash work right now.